breaking through the building. That's what the other driver did. But because I got this uh, 53 foot trailer, I couldn't back in because uh, the back of my trailer was digging into the ground. So I had to turn around, make a loop, and pull straight in. Come on, buddy. I gotta make this right turn. There we go. Wasn't too hard coming in this place, man. I had some the, the, the directions. It's job site, so you know uh, job site directions. Never really. Sometimes when you put it in the GPS, it doesn't quite give you a correct address. So I had to go off uh, handwritten directions. Then I got on the Qualcomm. I had to call the guy. All I knew was get to a certain exit and call the guy, find out exactly how to get here. I was on 234, off coming off 95, brings you to um, Manassas, that's where I'm at now. Coming off 234, man, it was probably like a, like a I want to say about 15 miles, 15 mile stretch of highway. So it only should should have took long to get here, but those that 15 mile stretch, I swear it had about probably about 20 about 20 stoplights. <laughs> no lie, if anybody ever been on this route, uh, 234 in Virginia, about 20 stoplights. And every one I hit, every stoplight I hit was a red light. Yeah, I called the guy. He was like, yeah, make a left by the 7-Eleven. And at this point in time, he's telling me to make a left. I'm passing by a 7-Eleven. So I would have had to make a right. But then I, as I got closer to the to the destination, I realized it's probably like 10 7-Elevens on this stretch of highway. <laughs> but when I finally got here where I'm at, I seen the 7-Eleven that he was talking about make a left at. Man, that's pretty easy load though. Left the house yesterday. Spent the night exit 104, Ruthless Glen in Virginia. I only had about an hour to drive this morning when I woke up. I gotta scan these bills in. I gotta scan every page. One, two, three, four pages I gotta scan in. I hate scanning these in, but it's Monday, so I gotta scan everything in. I took my paperwork home over the weekend and scanned in all my other previous loads for the week. Most drivers, they get into the habit of scanning them in whenever they get empty, but a lot of times I be in a rush. A lot of times, as soon as I get empty, I already got another load, so I be ready to hit the road. So a lot of times I don't scan them in right away, but as long as they scan in by Monday at midnight, I get paid for it. But I'm about to go ahead and scan these in now because I'm waiting on my DM. I've been, I sent my empty call probably about 15 minutes ago. They probably had about two pieces left on the truck to unload when I sent my empty call. So that was about 20 minutes ago. So now we're just gonna sit here and play the waiting game and uh, see what's up. So let me scan these loads in. We'll scan this one load in. Cause I already got all the other ones out the way and we're gonna see what's up with the next load. You see that green truck right there? It's parked on the street. My truck is right behind his. Right behind his, see it right there? Parked on the street. Last week when I came here, Man, there's probably about 20 trucks lined up down that road. It's a tough place to go right here. But well, my truck is over there. Y'all wondering where the hell I'm going. I'm about to show you. I'm about to go across the street real quick. Toquero Taco Bell. Toquero Taco Bell. I don't even know if they're open or not. I'm about to find out. 
some kettleless moss. Taco Bell has been annihilated. Now this is what I'm gonna show y'all. There's one truck, see one truck in front of me right there. We well, got another truck on the side over there. You see him backing up. He backing up right now. Then over here on the street, you got like a little dirt path over here. You see that white truck? It's like three more trucks over there. I had 11 o'clock appointment. Now the guy told me I had three trucks in front of me. Looked like he's going in right now. Looks like he's about to, I don't know if, I don't know if he's going in or not. Not sure. Look at this truck. Hey, it's fucked. Yeah, he's going in the gate. Yeah, it's fucked up out here, man. It's fucked up. We actually see the line right there. We actually parked in the street. Let me show y'all what's behind me. Let's see, I got like one, two, three, about three or four trucks behind me. Last week, last week, I was all the way back there. Way back there. I was back there under that bridge. I just had to work my way up. Had to work my way up. But I actually ended up skipping like like three or four trucks last week. Like I got called in. So the guy told me I had three trucks in front of me. Got a truck coming out. Got this truck coming out. So maybe this guy right here will go in and then I'll be the first one at the front. This is uh, Newkirk Street. I never made a video here. I made one on Biddle Street, but I never made one here. You see how they got this one one lane is the only lane open? I've seen I've seen trucks like back here. I've seen trucks come and um had to end up backing up to let let trucks uh like a truck had to get to the side and fuck around and have to let the other one go by. fucked up. Hey, it is what it is. One of the, one, just one of these places. Old TMC driver right there. That's the money crew. He must he must not been here before. He must ain't been here before. Because he, he just parked right there. Buddy, when you come here, you better park straight. Face it straight right here. Because he might have a hard time getting out. That ain't a good spot to park. He might get stuck, can't get out. See right here, I got enough space in front of me where if they call me to come around this truck, I can go around them. And I also got enough space right at, back there on my back end where I can back up a little bit if I had to. Look at this truck coming. Let's see what I mean? Now if it would've been traffic coming from right here, if they would've been meeting head on, somebody would've had to pull over. Hey. It is what it is. You see here, bobtail. You see them three bobtails right there? That's the problem with this place, man. Them guys with them bobtails, they pull those containers. And they they fucking park, park the damn bobtail right here. And they fucking go home for the week. They probably not even working today. They just in the damn way. And you'll even see the damn containers. You'll even see the damn containers. There's the one right there. Look at that, look at that container. Look, that motherfucker right there, I done seen him do it. That motherfucker drop that damn container and go home. And leave it sitting right over there, blocking up the damn space. Woo! It is what it is. Look at this damn PGT truck with damn three trailers on his back. Shout out my dog over there at PGT, Mr. Mark Woods Ruff. Say, so, hey, hey, he just recently lost his mother, so... We'll give him a moment of sadness. That's for you, Mark. Moment of silence for you, my man. For my buddy, Mark Woodruff. He works for PGT. I bet he would love a PGT day cab so he'd be home more often. I bet he I bet he he probably want to just leave PGT altogether and get on somewhere else, but now he got to do what he got to do. But that's my dog, though, Mr. Mark. 
I'm, I'm older than he is, but if you was to see him, hey, put it like this. He looked like the black Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, no offense, Mr. Mark. <laughs> Woo. All right, man, I'm about to sit here and chill, sip on my uh, Mountain Dew. I didn't want to get Mountain Dew. I, I actually, y'all know I, I done became a little bougie. I actually wanted to get um, mango tea, but they didn't have any, so I had to settle for this Mountain Dew. Hopefully it won't be much longer. The news, my gang, my flatbed gang members. Remember what I was telling y'all about that about that damn street? That's where I gotta go. And I gotta fight my way down the street. Hopefully, I can make it. As y'all can see, TMC comes to uh, a lot of the same places that we come to. If you see a PNS, most of the time you're gonna see a TMC as well. We all come to the same place, my flatbed brothers. Now let's see if I can make it safely down the street. trailer around. Looks like we got it. I see a truck coming. Or maybe he'll hold up and wait for me. Yeah, buddy. Keep, stay where you at, buddy. See that blue truck coming? Yeah, we made it. TMC, money crew, what it do? Look what we got behind Mr. TMC, Mr. PNS. Birds of a feather flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. I was about to say feather. <laughs> but I tell you what though, coming out of this gate, that means I gotta secure my load in the street. There's another PNS truck right there. Birds of a feather flock together. <sighs> triple E trucking. Look like a TNC, but that's a triple E. And look what we have right here. Not the Penske. Another TNC. <laughs> TNC and PNS, man. Hey, hey, we run this, man. We run this stuff. Run this. Now I got to back into dock number 17. I see it. We got to go 
over at dock 17. Let's see how difficult this is. It's a pretty tight squeeze back here. The best way to back is to go straight back. That's the best way to do it. The key to good backing up is always your setup. That's the key. You want to set it up. You set it up, you got no problem going in the hole. It's always the setup. Now it's tight in here too. Get it right, get it tight. Booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere. This is not as easy as it looks. What makes it difficult is getting that trailer right inside there so your trailer doesn't ride up on the side of that uh, thing. I think we got it this time. I think we got it this time. Scraping the side. My right, my right side is what's not going in, going in correctly. So my right side. There we go. Woo! Not easy. <laughs> Not easy. It's not a lot of space on the sides. Look how tight that is. Look at that. The other side has more space than this one. Look how tight that is. Pretty tight. this uh, driver waiting there while we're getting loaded.
See what I'm talking about? Sleeper. They just dropped these trucks off. They ain't, they ain't in the trucks. We out, gang. We out of here. Already got secured. Got the paperwork. We out. Flatbed gang. <laughs>